Hey there. Well, y'all, it's Monday morning, and if you saw my videos yesterday, my first one was a rant video about a misplaced delivery that was delivered to somebody else. And then I did a little update video last night about, you know, saying sorry about the rant. And somehow they found my thing that was delivered somewhere else, and they got it to me last night. So it's my, this hose. So I'm happy that this morning I'm actually out here using my sprinkler. I'm not going to do it for very long because I actually did it yesterday. And really, you're not supposed to do this every day. But I really wanted to check it out and, you know, see how it was going to do. Because since I had to cut off that part of the other hose that I had, I couldn't get this to go that far over. So that little area over there wasn't, I mean, it was kind of a stretch to try to get it to do that over there so at least now it reaches and I'm so happy it just is so nice and I'm loving it because I was just watching Mary's video well she had two of them this morning Mary from Everyday Mary um she was talking about plants and you know people that love plants and you know working out in the yard and stuff and I love it when she does those videos because I mean, it's like I get so excited about it because <laughs> I love it. And so it was kind of cool that she was talking about that. And she went to the farmer's market to look at plants and stuff. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. I'm just really happy that it's working. And the water pressure is still really low. But what I ended up doing for this was I made it, I left the sprayer head on the hose so that you know unless you're spraying it the water just stays in there so that's what i ended up doing i just like left the thing on there let this hose completely fill up with water and let the pressure kind of build up so that it would hopefully work and it's doing okay at the moment so i'm really glad about that because otherwise i mean the water pressure is just ridiculously low right now so Anyway, I'm just going to let this go for a few minutes just to kind of wet things down a little bit. And then I'm going to get on with my day doing some other stuff. <clears throat> my goodness. That's one of those hens over there making a racket. Um, so I am going to be expecting that same ninja van they're supposed to be delivering today because I saw that my other little thing, that little metal piece that goes on the outside of my um, weed eater, and it's coming through them. They're supposed to be delivering that today, so we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that they will. <laughs> After that fiasco yesterday, I'm hoping they'll be like, yeah, let's get this to her right away. <laughs> And I did tip the guy last night. It's like, you know, when he did show up with it, I tipped him. So I'm hoping that that helps, too, that if they say, well, you know, she gave me a tip. So she's not evil or anything. <laughs> I don't want him to think I'm some horrible person because I'm not. But anyhow, I'm loving my yard in the morning. See how nice it is in the morning? There's no sun over here yet. It won't be long because it's, you know, the sun's like right over there you can't see it yet because it's still kind of early but anyway so yeah i'm gonna sit out here and enjoy this for a few minutes and then get on with some other stuff and i'll see you in a little bit okay y'all i'm back again because i got my little thing <laughs> that wire looking thing that i said was you know similar to like a bent coat hanger <laughs> <laughs> it came luckily with no issues today since it came through ninja van they brought it fine so i am gonna try this out in a little area over here where i don't want to run into something and see how it works but i thought i'd show it to you i'll show you my little thing here you can see i got a full battery so that's cool. I didn't realize when I was checking it the other day that you had to push on this thing in order to actually see how much battery you've got. So anyway, I'm going to go over here and see if I can try this out and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. I don't know if I can do it 
while I'm recording hold my tablet or not, but I'm going to try it. Because I want you all to see how quiet this thing is because it's actually really quiet. See, it prevents you from bumping into things. And this is why I need those grass shears. Wow. Check it out, y'all. Sorry. I'm trying to watch what I'm doing. <laughs> Pretty cool though, I'd say. I love it. All right, I'm gonna turn this off now so that I can set this tablet back down. Well, y'all, it did good. I actually flipped it around the other way because I guess you can do it either way because depending on which way this is turned, whether it's this way or the other way, will determine how far down it goes. And since there's some low places over there, I thought, well, let me turn it down. And it got pretty close without, you know, bumping into it. And I've got those grass shears coming. And I got those so that I can go along and, you know, get into these little areas where this is not going to go and shouldn't go. So I can just go around this stuff with the grass shears and make that look nice but I think it's looking pretty darn good y'all I'm actually really glad that I decided to come out here and start trying to give this yard a little love and affection because it hasn't had any and when I was talking to Jackie who you know she used to live right next door in that little empty bungalow before I ever moved here she was moved out long before I came here but when she lived here she, I mean she said the whole time she was here this always just looked junky. You know, it always had all those rocks and everything that I got up. And she said, no one ever took care of this little yard area before. So this is probably the first time in a long, long time that this has actually been cared for. There's one of my roosters. There's some food over there for you. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, Hey there. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I'm glad that I'm able to come out here and do this because I am certainly enjoying it. It is just, oh, I tell you, if you're feeling down and depressed, if there's any way that you can work in a yard or if you live in a place that doesn't have a yard or something, maybe get a plant or something to care for. Man, I, can, I tell you, there's just something about it that's so freeing and just it's calming it's wonderful and I love that Mary was t just talking about that in her videos too because um, it really it, it is such a great way to unwind and relax and de-stress and all of that so anyway I am gonna I guess sit down I just went over the yard a little bit <laughs> Even though it really technically doesn't need it. But there were a few little spots. So I thought, well, I'll just go over it a little. Because <laughs> I'm loving it. So anyway, I'm going to go sit down over here. And I guess I'll finish talking to you once I get over there. All right, I'm back again. I'm holding the dang tablet again. Because it's like, I swear the sun has already gone down behind those trees over there. And it is still bright as all get out over here and so everything looks so overexposed and I no matter what I do to try to fix the exposure on this thing it doesn't stay it's like I'll have it set so that I can start recording and then I go in and I adjust the exposure and as soon as I go to hit record it whatever I just did just disappears and it just goes right back to the way it was a bunch of dogs running down the street slims one of them I guess he has some friends that he's hanging out with at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, I have had a pretty good day today. I was really happy when the guy showed up with the package <laughs> from Ninja Van. So, 
hopefully I won't have any problems with them anymore after that incident yesterday, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a rant video and then I came back with an, a really short update to say, you know, hey, they delivered it finally. I'm not sure what happened though. It's just the craziest thing because it's like if it was delivered somewhere, they had to have like figured out where they delivered it to and went back and got it or something, but it was not opened. I could tell that it hadn't been opened, it had not been used, because, I mean, you know, it's a hose. So, <laughs> you know, if they had, if somebody had actually used it, it, you would feel some wet somewhere, you know, it would be obvious. And so nobody used it or anything, so it was all good. <laughs> and luckily today, they showed up fine, and the guy kind of acted a little sheepish when he came up, so... I don't know if he was the one that was trying to deliver yesterday and got lost or whatever happened. <laughs> Another rooster. <laughs> but whatever the case, I mean, you know, I think he was happy that I was not mean to him or anything. I was friendly and gave him a tip so he could see that uh, everything's cool. As long as you deliver my stuff <laughs> to the right place, you know, it's like that's all I'm expecting from you. So, and they did ship finally. It's like I ordered that thing that I got today. I ordered it and my grass shears at the same time. They just sent the grass shear shears today. Luckily through Carrie. <laughs> so hopefully it gets here soon. And, okay, and so anybody who's been around for a while, you know I love Lazada, for one. And I love sales well they have their their they have this thing called a flash sale that comes up every day you know and it'll be different things will be on this flash sale um <laughs> so yeah uh i had been looking i had been looking at air fryers because that's something i've been thinking about for a while and everybody keeps talking about these dang things and how wonderful they are so I thought, you know, as much fried food as I do tend to fix, being from the South, you know, we like our fried food. I thought maybe it would be a wise choice to try an air fryer since you're not using the oil and all of that. And two, it's like I never know where to, to dispose of my oil. I mean, I reuse uh, French fry oil for a good while. I mean, I, you know, look at the color of it and stuff. And when it starts to look kind of cloudy or whatever, I get rid of it because then it starts having a weird taste. But I mean, you can reuse oil. So if you don't know that you, you can use, re reuse it. Depends on what you're cooking in it too, I think. But I mean, I've read that you can even reuse oil that you fried chicken in and stuff like that, as long as you strain it and get all the little food bits and stuff out, which I do when I pour it back into the bottle. Because I have like an old oil bottle that had been emptied. And so whenever I'm done with my oil, I pour it through a funnel that, you know, sips out the, any little bits or whatever. I pour it back into that bottle and save it and reuse it. So... But, you know, oil can be expensive and, you know, it's probably not too good to have, like, tons of it all the time. So, <laughs> so I figured, why not try this? And since they had this flash sale, it was interesting because I had looked at this one air fryer. Um, and I, I always put things in the cart, you know, just so I can go back and look at it again later, you know, find it easy or whatever. It's not that I'm going to buy it. If I bought everything that was in my cart right now, I think it was like 27,000 something bought. Because <laughs> this morning I had to like restart my tablet because it was like acting weird. Because when I went in to go check the price, because I would click on something to see what it said for the price. And if I'm making noise in the microphone, I'm sorry because I don't even know where it's at. And I'm manhandling this again like I did the other day. Um... I was just putting something, I was going through the checkout just to see what the actual price would be after my cash back, you know, discounts and all this kind of stuff that I've got. And um, for some reason, it kept wanting to show what my total was going to be if I purchased everything in my cart. And it was like almost 28000 bought more. 
all this stuff. It's like, no, that's not what I want to do at all. I just want to check the price of this one thing. So, uh, but yeah, when once I got the discounts and everything, I mean, I was able to order this thing for really cheap. So, I mean, I think it's going to end up being a little over $15 for this thing. You know, so it's not it's not expensive. It's not a big huge one, but it's like 4.8 liters, which I think is close to like a 5 um quart. Cuz I was talking with my sister, she has one and she swears by this thing. She's been telling me about it for a long time. One of the reasons why I thought I'd like to give it a try. Um, but hers is a five quart because that's how it is in America and here they go by liters. But she did the uh, conversion thing on it and said that mine was, you know, that was like almost five liters. You know, same size as hers, whatever. So th I thought, well, that's plenty big for me. I was actually, I actually ordered a different one that was really small. It was only a two... 2.5 liter thing and I kept thinking about it and I thought you know that is really small and even though I'm only one person and I really don't need a big one if for any reason I ever wanted to make something that's a little bit bigger like baking a cake or something in it because supposedly you can do all that too bake cakes whatever and I thought if I wanted to do that this is just going to be too small and the one I found was just, I mean, literally like a few bought more than the 2.5 liter. And I'm getting 4.8. <clears throat> so it was really close in price because I was able to still use all that cash back stuff and everything that I had accrued. So, you know, I figured I'm going to get this thing because I, I need to cook my own food as much as possible because it's just better for me to do that because I can't find food here that I can eat very well. I mean, a lot of it's just too spicy for me, even if I ask for it not to be. You know, what they think is not spicy is still like, I'm on fire. <laughs> Help. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to kind of, I have to kind of try to make my own stuff most of the time. But I, I just use way too much oil and, you know, because I, I, I tend to cook food that, I, you know, I like, that I grew up on and stuff. You know, fried chicken and things like that. So, I'm going to give this a whirl and see what happens. Hopefully, it gets here okay. It's coming through flash, which... <laughs> oh, my God. I have to laugh. <laughs> always, I'm always, like, checking. I'm like, please say, Carrie. <laughs> I know, y'all. I need to just, like, get... I was thinking about earlier, I really wish that Carrie sold, like, tank tops with their logo and stuff on it. Because as much as I praise Carrie all the time, <laughs> I should just be like a walking billboard. Just walk around town, you know, with my old Carrie tank top on. And <laughs> I'm hoping I can stick this in my rambling somewhere. <laughs> I forgot to mention this. The race is on. Yeah, okay, so I'm talking in the video here about the shears being shipped through Cary and that they were finally shipped today, and the air fryer is being shipped through Flash, and it was shipped. And they're both coming from the same area, and they've been shipped at the same time, so now there is a race to see who gets it here first <laughs> who's gonna win the race is it gonna be Carrie with the shears or is it gonna be flash with the air fryer so I'm curious to see now now that I, I I've seen it and I say okay they're both at the same place at the same time heading in this direction and I just checked it just now and it does say that they've both are have departed so they're on their way so let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to feel really funny and, and be embarrassed if Flash wins the race. Because you know how I am. Talking about Carrie and how fast they are. So let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh. I know. This is this is my life, y'all. I the things I get excited about. <laughs> But I do get excited about, you know, when I'm getting, you know, when I've ordered myself something that I'm, that I need or, you know, something that I really want to use and I'm excited when it's on its way and so, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm like a, a big kid a lot of the time because I'm just, <laughs> it's just like at Christmas time, you know, always wanting to go shake the presents and stuff and try to figure out what's in it. I don't know. But anyhow, I guess I'm going to quit rambling on, but I've had a great day. I really have. I've enjoyed just, you know, being out here in the yard and this morning, you know, trying out that sprinkler with the new hose and, and it, it's definitely long enough now with that one and getting to mow my lawn a little bit. <laughs> I'm so impatient. It's like, come on, grass, hurry up and grow because I'm ready to mow the lawn again. <laughs> I may have to ask my landlady if I can just go cut her grass or something because it's like, I really don't want to have to wait for this grass to grow. Anyway, but yeah, I've, I've had a good day. I enjoyed all this. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I do look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. So have a good one, everybody, and I will see you later. Bye. I'm trying to, like, bye. <laughs>